n type piece of silicon experiences an electric field equal to 0.1 voltage per micrometer a part section calculate the velocity of electrons and holes in the in this material and then b part is asking what doping level is necessary to provide a current density of 1 milliampere ampere per micrometer square under these conditions assume the whole current is negligible okay and also here the provided one is mobility of electron is in silicon is given by 1350 centimeter square per voltage second and mobility of holes in si is equal to 480 centimeter square over vs voltage per second so let's note this one down this is an important one mu p uh, mu n is given that is mobility of electron in silicon that is given for given by 1350 centimeter square per voltage second and then we have the mu p also given that is equal to 480 centimeter square per voltage second and uh, here we have the electric field e that is given by 0 0.1 voltage per micrometer and it's better to convert this one into centimeter because here we have this unit in centimeter square per water second so either you can change this one into meter or you can convert it into centimeter both one will work but i'm going to do this converting centimeter here and 0 0.1 voltage per if you convert a micrometer into meter that is 10 to the power minus 6 but if you convert a micrometer into a micro a centimeter that is 10 to the power of minus 4 so this is 10 to the power of minus 4 in the denominator so if you bring it to the top that's going to be 10 to the power of 4 so if you rewrite this one this is this time 10 to the power of 4 voltage per centimeter okay and we can also write this one as 10 to the power of 3 voltage per centimeter okay that is our e and in the part a of the question calculate the velocity of electrons and hole in this material so to calculate the velocity we can use this equation vdn okay this is drift velocity of electrons to find this one out we had to use this one that is mu n times electric field electric field is common for both of them that is this one this is the electric field in centimeter that's the one we need because we want to cancel the units so mu n is 1300 50 centimeter square uh, voltage second multiply that one with 10 to the power of 3 voltage per centimeter and we will end up having 1.35 times so i took three units of run so the 10 to the power of 3 is there and then 10 to the power of 3 again here so totally we are going to have 10 to the power of 6 centimeter per second and that's the velocity <clears throat> now we can do the same thing for the drift velocity of holes that is pdp let's use a different color pdp this is one of the answer vdn that is this and then VDP that is for the holes for that one we had to use the mu p so mu p times e mu p is given by 480 centimeter square per voltage second times e is 10 to the power of 3 voltage per centimeter okay if you multiply with this one by this and here also you can write this one as 4.8 if you do that then we have 10 square 4.8 times 10 square and here we have 10 to the power of 3 so 10 to the power of 5 totally 10 to the power of 5 
centimeter per second and this is vdp okay that is the a part a part is basically asking for the velocity of electron that is this and then velocity of holes that is this you have to just put mu n for the electron mu p for the holes and the electric field is going to be same for both of them and the b part is asking what doping level is necessary to provide okay let me okay what doping level is necessary to provide a current density of 1 milliampere per micrometer square under these conditions assume whole current is negligible let's do this in the next page <clears throat> so current density is the one we have to find out what doping level is to provide the current density of 1 milliampere per microsecond okay we need the doping level we have to find out the doping level and the current density is provided so let's see how to find out the doping uh, current density is given by this equation j is equal to un mu e mu n e okay mu n is the one we have here that is provided over here mobility of electrons and uh, we have electric field available we here this q is the electron charge that is given by 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb okay and also here we know the j that is provided in the question 1 milliampere per micrometer square 1 milliampere per micrometer square so this is j and if you look at our e and uh, mu n both of them are in centimeter uh, centimeter square per water second and e also we found out the, in terms of centimeter so it better to convert this one into centimeter square here in the denominator and also it's better to keep this one as ampere so let's do that one first so if i rearrange the unit for this that is milliampere to make it ampere i multiply that one by 10 to the power of minus 3 and micrometer square if you want to convert micrometer into micro centimeter i mean micrometer into centimeter that is just a 10 to the power of minus 4 in the denominator but if you want to convert micrometer square into centimeter square then 10 to the power of minus 4 times 10 to the power of minus 4 again so totally the power like if you multiply that power will add so 10 to the power of minus 8 in the denominator if you bring it to the top that's 10 to the power of 8 so after we've done that we are going to have the unit in ampere per centimeter square <clears throat> okay so 8 minus 3 that's going to be 5 so we are going to have 10 to the power of 5 ampere per centimeter square okay this is for the current density but the thing we are interested in finding is doping level <clears throat> Okay, doping level is the this n value. This n is also can be written as n d. The explanation is let's write the explanation where j is equal to q n mu n e. This n is a multiplication with this. where n is the concentration of electrons in case of full dopant ionization n is equal to nd nd is 
N D is equal to doping of electrons in centimeter cube. Doping of electrons in centimeter cube. So if you do that, then we can rewrite this equation as J is equal to Q. Inter instead of N, we can put this ND. This is sub and like this. Okay. ND and then VDN. Mu N times C is VDN. Okay, that's already be calculated. So we can put that one. Uh, this one instead of you know plugging all these and calculating again we can put this one 1.35 times 10 to the power of 6 so let's do this in the next page and j also we have found out in terms of meter per, i mean ampere per centimeter square that is 10 to the power of 5 so we can put that one 10 to the power of 5 is equal to q that is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 90 then nd that's the one we are trying to find and uh, instead, instead of mu and a we can put the vdn and uh, vdn value we already calculated here that's 1.35 times 10 to the power 6 10 to the power of 6 okay the units are not because all of them we set it accordingly we converted meet micrometers into centimeters and ampere um, and uh, milliampere into ampere so units are accordance with each other so if we calculate this nd that will give us 10 over 5 divided by the multiplication of these two that is 2.16 times 10 to the power of minus 13 okay this one is minus 19 okay and then if we calculate this one this is 0 0.46 296 um, 10 to the power of min 10 to the power of 18 centimeter minus 3 and we can finally write our answer as 4.6296 times 10 to the power of 17 centimeter minus 3 this is our final answer and this is the record doping level 4 record Doping level for current density of level for current density of one microampere per micrometer square. That's the question is asking. What is the doping level necessary to provide the current density of one milliampere per micrometer square under these conditions? Assume the current. So we found out the necess uh, doping level necessary. Okay, this is milliampere. Okay, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you guys on my next video.